25 and 50 foot water changers. Maintenance is a necessary part of good aquarium keeping. Aquion water changers are ideal for water changes and gravel cleaning and eliminate the need for carrying buckets of water to and from your aquarium. Assembly can be completed in a few simple steps. Begin assembly by unscrewing the compression nut on the faucet valve and slide it onto one end of the flexible hose. Firmly slide the flexible hose as far as possible over the barbs on the faucet valve. Slide the compression nut back up and tighten. In a similar fashion, unscrew the compression nut on the intake tube and slide it onto the remaining end of the flexible hose. Firmly slide the flexible hose as far as possible over the barbs on the intake tube. Slide the compression nut back up and tighten. When attaching the faucet valve, keep in mind that the faucet you are using should be at the same level or lower than the aquarium and have good water pressure. Typically, you will need to remove an aerator nozzle from the faucet before attaching the water changer. With the aerator nozzle removed, use the adapter provided and attach it to the faucet. Note that the plastic adapter is designed to fit most but not all faucets. If it does not fit your particular model, more adapters are available at your local hardware store. With the adapter in place, tighten the faucet valve to the sink. Turn off the heater and filter and remove any obstructions. This makes it easier to work around the aquarium and will not cause your heater or filter to malfunction. There is no need to remove your fish or plants. Place the intake tube into the aquarium and make sure the blue valve lever is open and in the up and down position. Make sure the blue faucet valve lever is also open and in the up and down position. Then turn on the water. Water from the faucet should flow from the bottom of the faucet valve. Water should begin flowing from the aquarium. To clean your aquarium gravel, make sure water is being pulled from the aquarium to the sink. Then insert the intake tube into the gravel and then pull it out slowly, allowing the gravel to fall back down and dirt and debris to be carried away with the water. Adjust the blue valve lever on the intake tube to regulate water flowing from the aquarium so that gravel is lifted and agitated enough so dirt and debris continue to flow away with the water and the gravel falls back to the aquarium bottom. This valve can also be used to completely stop water flow. Continue to work and clean the gravel in an up and down motion throughout the aquarium. When you have completed removing water from your aquarium, pull the intake tube out of the aquarium, keeping the blue valve lever in the open position. Water in the flexible hose will continue to flow towards the faucet. Place the intake tube into the sink and turn the blue lever on the faucet valve to the closed position. This will stop the water flowing out the bottom of the faucet valve and send it through the hose. Water will start flowing out of the intake tube. Let the water continue to run to remove all dirty aquarium water that was left in the hose. Use this time to adjust the water's temperature that will be placed back into the aquarium. When the aquarium water has been removed from the hose and the temperature adjusted, Turn the blue lever on the faucet valve to the open position and take the intake tube and place it back into the aquarium. Turn the blue faucet valve lever to the closed position and water should begin flowing to the aquarium. While waiting for the aquarium to fill with water, add the correct amount of Aquion water conditioner to make the tap water safe for fish and plants. When the aquarium is full, turn off the faucet. Remove the intake tube from the aquarium and walk over to the sink. Open the blue faucet valve lever to the open position and drain the remaining aquarium water from the hose. Wind the hose and disconnect the faucet valve for future use. Remember the Aquion tips for a successful aquarium. 1. Only keep the aquarium light on for 8 to 10 hours a day. Leaving the light on increases the chance of your aquarium turning green and decreases your water's clarity. You can also add a simple timer, which saves electricity and keeps fish on a normal schedule. Fish need downtime, just like you and me, so give them a break 
and turn off the lights. 2. Only feed as much as your fish will eat in less than 2 minutes. Fish have very small stomachs, and a pinch or two is all they need. Anything they do not eat will remain in their living area and can cause water to become foul and cloudy and may contribute to excess algae growth. Feeding small amounts two to three times daily is the perfect mealtime routine. Three, change about 25% of your aquarium water once per month. This helps remove unwanted dirt particles ammonia, and stale water, and replaces them with clean, fresh water. Avoid draining your entire aquarium. Even though it may look dirty, emptying the entire aquarium to clean it greatly reduces the amount of beneficial bacteria that keeps it in balance. This can lead to a whole host of other problems associated with starting an aquarium from scratch. As the old saying goes, less is more. Doing less is sometimes better, and with simple water changes, gravel cleaning, proper filter maintenance, and following these simple success tips, you can keep an aquarium worry-free for a very long time. For additional product information, visit our website at www.aquionproducts.com.